is we are doing something different today. Uh, learning the command line. It's one of the new uh, new skills they've added, if you want to call it that. Um, a lot of cool things in the command line. I use it, uh, I, well, I'd rather I use it at my internship to ping sites to see if uh, they're up and running properly and get a response. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to learn some cool stuff. It's You can see only 2,000 people have already enrolled in it. And we'll just be doing these. It looks like there's four sections, so probably about 15 minutes a section. And let's get started in navigating the file system navigation. All right, so let's see here. To access the command line, we use the terminal emulator, as you can see here. Uh, often just called terminal. In the terminal, after the type ls and press enter. So let's see, ls. So you should see the next three items below the command. All right. So ls, do they tell us what ls does? Maybe they'll tell us in the next, next video. So what's going on here? Okay. So in the terminal, you'll see the cache. This is a shell prompt that appears when the terminal is ready to accept a command. Okay, so that just means it's working properly. When you type ls, the command looks what folder you're in, and then lists the files and folders inside of it. Cool. So this is like our list directory. Uh, all right. So file. They give us a little bit of a technical. Let's go on here. Let's see how to navigate the file system from the command line in the terminate in the terminal after the shell prompt. So pwd, let's see what pwd does, is going to give us, it looks like, our path. So pwd is our path by the looks of it. So we want to, oh, it's going to, oh, rather it's going to print the working directory. So that's our directory that we're in, so pwd, cool list all files in the working directory so ls should list the file names and then cd 2015 alright so cd is to change the directory so we want to you can see the hardware.txt is the actual file while well, the 2014 to 2015 are folders so now if we were to call uh, ls on our list directory 2015 because we're now in this one it's going to print out these folders and meanwhile if we were to type in pwd you can see that our our space has gone up to the 2015 one <coughs> so we want to change the directory into the 2015 again uh, we then want to go to let's see here print what's in this specific directory or rather change to that directory and then we want to type cd dot dot and I believe this takes us back a directory uh, it's either dot dot or dot 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 uh, so let's see here uh, no uh, is it pwd yeah, so this brought us back to our last directory. I believe that's what it's going to tell us right now. So let's see here. Change the directory to the 2015 slash feb directory. So in this, we want to change. And this only works based on where we are in our current directory, I believe. So that way, we couldn't go to jan slash memory from a directory that before then, it wasn't it. So everything has to be the same up to that point. So we want to change the directory to jan slash memory slash. Uh, and right here you can see that we put in something wrong. So uh, we probably put a slash from it. We don't need to. So jan slash memory. Change the directory to so files. Oh, tw oh, 2015 slash February. Excuse me. So cd. 2015 slash February. That's still February. Oh, slash Feb. 2015 slash Feb. There we go. 
it is a directory. All right, and then mk direct media. Uh, again, what is this going to do? So I'm not sure what mk direct is. I, I don't think I've used that before. So this stands for make directory. So now it looks like it created a folder. So if named media create. Here we use mkdirect to create a new directory called media inside the fabric directory. Okay, cool. So now we want to cd to the 2014 slash December and then type touch keyboard.txt. I believe this opens it, if I remember correctly. Uh, the touch creates a new file inside the direct working directory. Okay, so touch creates the file while the previous command uh, the mk direct creates the folder, I believe. That's how, that's how I'm going to look at it, yeah. Uh, so the touch command creates a new file inside it, which it takes uh, in a file name, so we named it keyboard.txt. And so, um, so far we've, this is just uh, kind of telling us what's going on here. So we've basically just been navigating through our directory so far. So PWD outputs the name of the current directory you're working in. LS lists all files and directory in that current directory. CD switches you into the directory that you want. And MK Direct creates a directory and Touch creates a new file inside the current directory. Nice. So I believe that is the ending of that. It's a it looks like they do this a little bit different, but uh, we're going to be learning some more stuff in this. I may just make this one video. Actually, I'm going to break it up as we've been doing. Um, so that's our first part to the command prompt. Um, as you can see here, we did uh, we did the first navigation portion. And next part is the manip manipulation. So we're going to go ahead and copy, move, and delete files and directories from the command line in the next video. And I'll see you guys.